Hi there, everybody. Welcome back to our at-home learning segments. I'm Coach Crystal from Halifax Alta Gymnastics Club, and we're going to do some preschool fun with you today. So I hope you can uh, join us, and we're going to do some movements, some balances, lots of the things that we like to practice in the gym, but we're going to do from home just because we can't be in the gym right now, but we'll see you all very soon. All right, the first activity we're going to do is our, we're gonna be this creature. It uh, lives in the ocean. Does anyone know what it is? Yes, a crab. All right, so crabs have little pinchers and we are going to be a crab. So. I'm going to show you my best version of a crab, getting down low, having my pinchers. They like to walk sideways and back. Can you copy along with me? Good job. Crabs also can uh, look like this. They go sideways, across, and back. Crabs can move pretty quickly, actually. Good job, everyone. All right, our next animal has a very long neck. Can you guess what it is? What's that? Yes, a giraffe. All right, a giraffe just like this. All right, so we're going to pretend we're giraffes. We're going to be very tall, so we should probably get up on our tiptoes. Make our arms reach up high. Pretend that's our mouth up there. Crunching and munching the leaves in the trees. Crunch and munch. And walk up tall as a giraffe. And maybe backwards. Good job. Copy me. Maybe sideways. Make sure you have a safe place to be doing this. Good job reaching up nice and tall. Oh, wow, that was, that was hard work. Good job at home. All right, our next creature is something that slides along the ground and it doesn't have any arms or legs. Can you guess what it is? Hmm, that's right, it's a a snake. So we're gonna wriggle and jiggle them, slither across the floor like a snake. And when you're doing this, you're pretty much helping mom and dad at home to clean the floor. Wiggling all around. Ooh. Polishing up the floor. Way to go. All right, our final creature is something that moves super slow. And they live in their home on their back. That's right, it's a turtle. All right, so they like to hide inside their little house in their shell. So turtles, Move very slowly, so get down low. And shuffle super slow. Very slow. Slow and steady wins the race. Very slow. Maybe we can go backwards. Get down low, friends. Just like a little turtle. Great job. Way to go. All right, friends, now on to our task cards. So these cards uh, show pictures and I'm gonna show you too and I want you to follow along at home. So we're gonna do some of our actions and our shapes that we do in the gym. You might know some of these. The first shape or first position is called an L-sit. Can you see why it might be called an L-sit? That's right, because it looks like the letter L. It goes down and across. 
us, just like that. And does anyone know this number? That's our number five. That's right. So we're going to do our L sit. And I want you to count along at home with me. So you're going to sit with your legs in front, squeezing tight, arms up tall, straight as you can. And let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. Way to go. Great L sit. All right, our next card is our front support. Now that's my daughter when she was just little and she's doing a front support. So let's see if we can do it too. You can do it at home and I'm doing it at my house. So hands down and feet back. Try not to sag your bellies down low or stick your bottoms up high. You're gonna make a nice straight line with your body and hold it. Let's count to five again. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, great job. All right. Our next position is our back support. Now that is very close to the same as our front support, but we're facing the opposite direction. So we're going to sit on our bum and put our hands back. If you can, put your fingers facing forwards and then you're going to lift up your bellies and your bum and hold it nice and straight. Try not to stick your bum down low like that. See if you can make your bellies nice and high to the sky. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, we're getting a workout in today. I can feel my muscles getting stronger. All right, our next position. This is called a front bridge. So it's a lot like our front support, but this time we are allowed to stick our bums up in the air. So it looks like this, hands down, feet on the floor, and bum up high. See if you can do it with your legs super straight, and you might feel a nice stretch in there and hold it. For those of you who have pets at home, you might see if you're, if you have a little dog or a kitty cat, if they'll go under your bridge, that would be cool. All right, now, this is almost the same, but one leg is gonna lift. It's called our front bridge with flag. So we're gonna pretend we've got a flagpole on our bridge. So we're gonna go back into our, our front bridge and we're gonna try and lift up our leg up high, up high, up high and hold it up in the sky. One, two, keep holding it. Three, four, five. Woo! Great job. I bet you we could try it with the other leg now. So back to our front bridge. Lift up the other leg. Up, 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 up. And then hold it still. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. If you feel like you're all wiggly and wobbly while you're doing that, try to look at your hands. That'll help you balance better. Keep you from wiggling and wobbling. All right, and our final action. You guys know, I want you to shout it out at home. What is this? What is this guy doing? That's right. It's our motorcycle. Now this one's super important. So feet apart a little bit, hands in front. Hold on your handlebars and bend your knees. Sitting on our motorcycle, just like that. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what it looks like. So I'm sitting down, my bike's not moving, and I'm just bending my knees a little bit. That's how we learn to land safely. So when we're doing our jumps, if we're jumping off of something, then we learn to land safely. All right, great job on our actions. All right, everyone, this is a note to keep on smiling. All right, our coaches miss you, but we hope that you're having fun with us from your own homes. 
All right, so I have a little beach ball here. You might have one. Ask mom or dad or your grown up at home. Maybe they have it in with the summer stuff. Hopefully summer will be here soon. Um, but you can grab a beach ball or if you still have your balloon from the other day, I still have my happy birthday balloon here too. You can use either one. Okay, so get something like fairly large that you can toss and catch. Okay, I want you to not toss it too big, just small catch tosses first. See if you can count to 10 and do 10 tosses and catch and catch. Good job. 10 times. You're doing great. You might drop it. Oops. That's okay. Try again. Never give up. Way to go. All right. What you can do if you have a partner is you can toss it back and forth. I'll see if I, I can get my partner. All right, I've got my partner here. This is my daughter, Jillian, and we're gonna practice. We're gonna start pretty close together and we're gonna toss our beach ball and catch it and see if we can do it back and forth without dropping it. How many times can we do it? Woo, keep going. Back and forth. She's good. All right, we were, we were both pretty good at that. So we're gonna take a step backwards. All right, partner. Good job. Don't toss it too high. And when you catch it, you can try and bring it into your body, but without popping it, of course. Woo! That was a wild throw. Woo! All right, very good. Now, the next thing we're gonna try, and I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna see if we can bounce and catch. So I'm gonna bounce it and see if she can catch it. This won't work with the balloon very well, but the beach ball, it does work quite nicely. And see if you can keep your feet planted. Don't move them. Bounce and catch. Bounce and catch. Good. If you don't have a partner for that one, that's okay. You can just try it by yourself. Down and catch. Thank you. Great job. All right, you guys. The next challenge is going to be to grab. So go around your house, pick some stuffies that are small, maybe some little balls that you have lying around the house. And you're going to practice. I've set up a little thing here. So I got, if you're, you can mark a place to start. I've used some painter's tape just to put a little cross on the ground. And I put some of our bowls out so I can try and toss my targets or my objects into the target. So I'm going to stand on my X or you can pick up something that you want to start on. You're going to try and toss it. Whoa, that was pretty good at bounce. So if you have a ball, it, it might bounce, but that one bounced right into the other bowl. Oh, I'm giving myself extra points for getting the yellow at the end. Oh yeah. And I ate the little puppy, made it into the green bowl. So set yourself up a little course like this at home and have some fun with tossing. Don't use any breakable objects. Make sure you you use something soft uh, and see how many times you can get it into the target and make it challenging too. Maybe you could even have some small targets to aim at. Great job. Have fun with that one. All right. Now I've got my demonstrator, Tyler, and he's going to show us some roly poly. So he's on the bed somewhere soft. And he's going to roll back and up again. Keep your chin ducked in. Roll back it up. Now look at his hand placement. He's putting one hand under one leg and one under the other. And roll. And up. Ooh, good job. If you hug your legs, so give your legs a hug underneath. If you do that, it's kind of tricky. You might get stuck like a turtle on a shell. All right. Now try it one hand on each and roll back and up. Good, see if you guys can do that at home, maybe five times, 10, 20 times. Back and forth, great work. Thanks, Tyler. All right, we've got our helper again, Mr. Tyler, and he's gonna help us. We're gonna do our forward rolls now. Forward rolls need to be done on a very soft surface. So if you have um, a big enough bed 
or a mattress on the ground to play on. Or some of you might even have some mats at home, but you don't need any mats for this. You do need a grown-up to be near you. You can't do this one without a grown-up watching because they want to make sure you don't fall off the bed. All right, so we're going to start by stretching up tall. Arms up. Now touch the ground. Put your hands a little bit further forward than your feet. And now bend your knees a bit and duck your head down low until the back of your head touches the bed, the back of your head, and roll. Just like that, right to his tuck sit. Let's try that again. You can try it at home too. Follow along, reaching up tall, now down small, touch the ground, head down low, touching the back of your head on the mattress, and around to your tuck. Way to go. Let's see if you guys can do it 10 times. All right, friends, our next exercise to keep our muscles nice and strong. I've got a skipping rope that I've laid out across the floor. So if you have a rope or if you have some more of that painter's tape that you can uh, make a line across the floor with. So I found a skipping rope work easy. And what I want you to do is you're gonna hop over the skipping rope like it's a little snake. So we're gonna try not to wake the snake. So you're gonna jump from one side and then to the other. From one side and then the other. We're, we're jumping with both feet back and forth. Don't wake the snake. All right, we're gonna go all the way back. We're jumping in puddles right across and back. So have some fun with that. See if you can do it slowly. See if you can do it quickly. See if you can do it backwards. And then all the way back. Make sure you have a safe place to do it. That's a great one. All right, the next thing is going to be our mini, it's, this is a cartwheel drill actually. It's, it's not, you don't need a lot of space. It would be nice if you had a carpeted floor, not like this ceramic tile. I, I have practiced a lot, so I think I'm gonna be okay here, but you guys should probably do it on some carpet. So you're gonna put your hands on one side of your skipping rope and you're going to jump your feet across. Now, I just realized it's slippery with socks because I'm on that slidey kind of floor, floor. So, bare feet is probably best. So, hands on one side and you're going to take one foot and jump over the skipping rope and then back and over and back. So, parents, if you want to help them with this one, uh, see if they can take the leg that's um, closest to the rope or to the line and that foot is going to hop across. And just touch that one foot back and forth, back and forth. I'm going to turn my body so you can see a little bit more clearly maybe. All right, so like this, back and forth, back and forth. Make sure their arms are nice and straight and you're looking at your hands, okay? Super tight and practicing, getting strong, so we'll have some great cartwheels. Our locomotions of the day are tiptoe walk, which we did earlier with our giraffe walking. So standing up very tall on your tippy toes and seeing if you can walk on your tiptoes without letting your heels touch the ground. Forwards, backwards, and you can take that painter's tape, ask a grown-up for help with this one, and you can put a line on the floor. This is gonna be our at-home balance beam, and we're gonna walk on our tiptoes following the line like it's a balance beam. 
forward tight rope and backwards staying on your beam good all right so that's our tiptoe walk and our our next locomotion is skipping so some of you might already know how to skip one knee lifts and then the other and with a little hop to it now if you're not sure how to skip we're going to start with just some marching so lift one knee and then the other okay and then see if you can march with a little bit of a hop another way that you can learn how to skip is to hop on one foot and then hop on the other foot and switch and switch and switch until it turns into your skipping that takes a lot of practice you can do it inside if you have some space but you could do it outside too maybe in your backyard uh, somewhere where you have a little bit more space to move around and practice so have fun with those locomotions all right you guys our final activity of the day we're going to use my handy dandy spinning wheel here and we're going to spin it to find out what number it lands on and then we're going to review some of our balances and our shapes that we learned last week all right so I'm going to give it a spin our first thing is going to be our airplane balance let's find out what number we got six all right airplane balance get your airplane arms out one leg back and look straight ahead find something on the wall and we're going to count are you ready to help me count to six one two three four five six way to go all right i'm going to give it a spin our next one isn't we got the number eight it's my favorite number and this is our action it's do you know what it's called at home that's right it's a table all right so we've got to count to eight doing our table so hands down feet in front lift up your bellies one help me count two three four five six seven eight way to go all right i'm giving it a spin our next shape does anyone know that one yeah a tuck now we're not just doing any ordinary tuck we're going to be doing a trickier one so we've got oh my goodness 23. so we're going to hold our tuck sitting down we're going to try and lift our arms out and hold our toes in the air now help me count we'll count a little quicker on this one because this is a long one one two three four five six help me count seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three way to go that was tricky i can feel my muscles in my stomach getting tight and strong all right oh we got an 11. all right this is our next action do you know what that one's called that's right it's our stork stand or our one foot balance and we're going for 11 seconds this time i want to hear you count in let's try french here we go un deux trois quatre cinq six sept huit neuf dix onze great job we better do the other leg we want to keep that uh even here we go un, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
Oh, so way to go. All right, give it our wheel a spin. We've got two. Oh, that's easy. All right, let's see if we can do our pike. Now, see how uh, he's reaching for his toes? So we're gonna do the same. We're gonna do it two times. So we're starting in our pike. And we're gonna keep our legs nice and straight. You can lift your toes up to the ceiling and grab a hold. Are you ready? We're gonna see if we can go down and give our knees a kiss two times. <gasps> One, and then the other knee. Two. Oh, that was a long way down for me. I bet you guys are better than at that one than I am. All right, giving our wheel a spin. We only have a few more things to do. All right, we've got a 16. All right, our next action then is our V set. See how he's, his shape looks like a V there. All right, so for our V set, we've got to count to 16. This is tricky. All right, hands back. This one's easier if you turn your hands so your fingers are pointing away from your body. And you're going to lift up, 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 up. And here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Whoo! You guys are working hard. Thanks for, thanks for playing with me today. It's been a lot of fun. We have one more action to do. I'm gonna get our wheel of spin. And it looks like this. Shout it out if you know what it is. What shape is that? You're right. It's our straddle. All right, 20. Holy. Well, I think you guys are up for the challenge. I know I am. So sit in your straddle and we're going to reach our hands forward, 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 forward as far as we can without bending our legs. We don't want to have bumpy knees. So keep them flat. Here we go. I need your help to count to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Way to go. Great job, friends. All right. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for joining me today. And I, uh, I'm glad I had someone else who could do it with me. You guys did great. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.